Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to explain to you how to lower your mouse polling rate. I am actually using a CM Storm Alcor mouse, but this can be done on every gaming mouse I know of. So first let me explain to you what is the polling rate of a mouse. It's actually the rate at which your mouse sends data to your computer. So here is a little text file to explain to you. So my mouse is operating at 1000 Hz, uh, meaning it sends data to my computer at every millisecond. If your mouse is operating at 500 Hz, it sends data to your computer at every 2 milliseconds, and so on and so forth. Now you're going to ask, how can I check my mouse polling rate? So to make that, you can go to the zoebenq.com ga support mouse rate checker.html website. Uh, it's a website made by BenQ, which uh, helps you to know the polling rate of your mouse. So you go there, you just make a click, and then you move your mouse. You see the measurements on the right, which tell that I'm actually operating at 1000 Hz. You can just click and it stops. Now you may ask, what is the problem with Valorant and high polling rate? So my problem was that I was trying to make flicks to hit people like that. And actually my mouse was making a movement like that, stuttering on the middle, and then going to the place where I wanted it to go. Now uh, you may be asking, uh, what can I do before touching my mouse's polling rate? If you have stutters on, in the game, you can check if your GPU or CPU is too stressed and you can try lowering your settings. There are already several videos about that on YouTube. You can try limiting your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate or a little bit above it. For example, mine is actually operating at 144 Hz, so I capped uh, the in-game frames to 170. If you have a slow connection, it may be the cause since Valorant seems to send data to the server at every frame. It could be the cause, but you first need to check your connection speed, especially your upload speed to check if it can bottleneck the game. And the last option may be to lower your mouse's polling rate, as I'm going to explain to you. So on the first hand, I'm going to explain to you what is the problem with Valorant and high polling rate. I checked those two uh, reddit threads where uh, this man had a nice config, he had uh, pretty much nice performance, 200 plus FPS, he had a good connection and he tried uh, several things on the first hand but nothing worked. So he asked on this reddit uh, subreddit and the first answer is to try lowering, lowering the polling rate of his mouse and actually it worked. Now he's playing with a 500 Hz uh, mouse and it seems to be fine. The second one, so the post was deleted but um, the answer here is uh, of some hacks. It's a guy who talks with Chamberlain which is a Valorant developer and it, he talks about things that may cause bugs when you have a mouse with a high DPI and high sensitivity and things like that. So it doesn't mean specifically that your polling rate is in cause, but it may be uh, one of the causes. It shows that a mouse with specific configuration can provoke bugs on the game. Now let me explain to you how to lower your mouse polling rate, specifically on a CM Storm Alcor mouse. So as I said before, it can be done on other mice, but you will have to find the manufacturer's website and try to find if there is a management software for your mouse. You may be finding this guide on uh, Steam, but it seems to be outdated since uh, the, the software hit talks about is outdated for uh, Windows 10 so I did not try to apply it since he tells that it does not work. Now here is the page of the CM Store Alcor mouse so you will find specifications here 
you see it works at 1000 Hz, so every milliseconds it sends data to the computer. So on the first hand, I tried finding a software that could help me manage my mouse polling rate. I didn't find any except the one that I told you before, which is outdated for Windows 10 users. So I found this page, and then I found the Downloads tab. Here you see that there are several versions of the framework. So the first version uh, comes with white, red, blue and green colors to indicate the DPI of the mouse and the other ones use different colors. There are minor differences between those versions. The first one as I told you before is using the stock colors and the V2 and V3 versions use different colors and they might be using a different DPI since when I installed them I found a weird sensation on the DPI which tells me that they use a little different DPI. So sadly you see we only have a choice between 1000 and 125 Hz but that's the only alternative you will find for this mouse. Okay, so now you see I, ha I have downloaded all the versions available on the website. I am now operating with the first version, the 120, which operates at 1000 Hz. I will explain to you how to install the others. They all work the same. So we will install the last one, the 321 version with 8 milliseconds. So just go in the folder launch this the firmware update will appear you just press ok wait a few seconds and now it's done you should see your mouse changing color press ok and now you're done your mouse is now operating at 125 hertz so now you should be good to go to play Valorant and other games. If you still have problems, uh, check with other games if you have the same problem or other mice. And in the end, if you still have the same problem with your mouse on different computers, on different games, you should maybe try finding a new mouse which comes with management features like I know CM Storm does, I know Corsair does, I know Zoe does, so there is a large choice of mice on the market, you will find uh, the one you need. Now thank you for watching this video, drop a like if you liked this video, drop a dislike if you didn't, and I hope I helped you, see you in the next one.